All right, guys, doing the last video in the Ultimate Bug Out Bag series. Um, there's this uh, slip pocket here, the elastic in the, the back. I've got a cutting board, plastic cutting board. This is cool because um, it adds uh, like structure to the back of the pack, which gives you a little bit of internal reinforcement. So that's why I have it there. Um, this obviously has many purposes, uh, just to be used as a plate or a flat surface. Flat surfaces are very hard to come by in the wild. So to have something like this, where you can ride on it, um, prepare game, use it as a, a plate, cut on, etc. That's a nice item uh, to have in your pack. Then we have these. Pocket naturalist guide for wild edible plants, mushrooms, and medicinals. So it's kind of hard unless you really commit yourself to studying uh, flora and fauna and uh, you know medical stuff to re to remember all this. But if you have these guides to go to, or if you had a question about something that you see, um, you come across a mushroom or something you want to try to identify it, you can use these. Uh, to help you with that. So it doesn't take up a lot of space. It's, it's basically just stored knowledge. Um, hard copy, not on your phone, which may go dead, but something that you'll always have. Uh, you can even use it just for entertainment, just to read it and try to learn on your own. But that could be a very useful item. Then we have a large Ziploc bag, freezer bag with some aluminum foil. That's all on that one. Okay, getting back to our last uh, big item, which is this pouch. It's kind of a mini survival kit. I've got the Bear Grylls uh, Priorities of Survival Guide here. Uh, I know people think Bear Grylls is cheesy, but this just happens to fit that perfectly. This is kind of a contractor's document bag. It's got a carabiner there. And I have a Bear girl saw, which came with that guide, so that's why it's there. Survival fishing kit, sealed with tape. I'm not going to get into all of it. Um, the standard one, it's like $12 on Amazon or something. It leaves a lot to be desired. So I've like doubled what it comes with. Added a ton of extra fishing line, spider wire, hooks, uh, lures. Uh, sinkers, all kinds of stuff. So this went from a really like cheesy fishing kit to an actual quality fishing kit that you could uh, catch something with. Sewing kit. So this is a survival kit filled with mini kits. Uh, heavy duty thread, uh, a bunch of cheap thread, needles, fingernail clippers, important item. Um, just kind of general sewing stuff. So you have your sewing kit, some buttons, do basic repairs. Three birthday candles, fire starting or light. Real cheap multi-tool. I know everybody has like a Leatherman Surge or something, uh, but I don't really see why you would need multi-tool in the woods um, again you know you don't if this is true bug out you may be in an urban situation so fair enough but that's why you have this it's got the screwdrivers it's got the pliers you use the wire cutters for cutting your snare wire or something um, the knife's real cheap but use that for if you're cutting something you don't want to damage your other blades on so I may get a better multi-tool for this kit, but I think that for the purposes you need it for, you don't need a super high quality one, but it's definitely something that you want to have in any bug out bag. Uh, this is, I think, just a hank of 550 cord, maybe about 20 feet with some bank line around it, or I'm sorry, a uh, ranger band around it. Uh, this is my backup knife, more robust. 
great little knife. Uh, you know, it's not full tang or anything, but people swear by these in survival situations. And I just think it's a great knife, really sharp, have a little paracord around it. A uh, great backup knife to have. Uh, this is just a plastic straw. It has a spoon tip on the end, which is in there somewhere. Um, so it can be used as a spoon or just a straw for whatever you need that for. This is a strop that I made. Just a piece of leather. So you can use, you can uh, string this up to a tree limb and then pull the other limb or pull the other loop and make that taut and then strop your knives on that. Um, another thing you can do on the plastic cutting board, you can lay that flat and just strop it flat on that. I also have a sharpener too, so that's a strop in addition to the sharpener. Uh, these are more uh, zip ties. Bear Grylls collapsible saw. I like this because it's very compact. Um, I've used this, tested it, it works pretty good. Um, it's held up to abuse, so I think it's, it's trustworthy. It's, it's not going to break under normal use. Uh, it's lightweight. I do have other better saws, um, but for now I'm, I'm rolling with with the old Bear Grylls in this kit just for the convenience of the, the weight and the size of it. Yo-Yo Reel, another Yo-Yo Reel. Spray painted camouflage, leather pouch container. This is a kind of cheap little, uh, things like Ozark Trail survival tool that's got binoculars that folds out. It's pretty cheap, but magnifying glass, mirror, compass. So, you know, cheap stuff can work. It doesn't take up a lot of space or weight. And an extra compass is probably a good item to have as a backup. This is a rust eraser. It's just half of one because you don't probably need a full one. But if you, your stuff gets rusty, you literally just rub this on it and rust comes off. How else you would do that without this, I don't really know. I do have that fine grit sandpaper, but this uh, is not that abrasive, but it'll get rust off. That's the spoon tip to that straw. Notepad, not right in the rain. That's, I mean, if you want to sit around in a rainstorm and uh, write poems, that's great. But this is paper. I have a mechanical pencil. You can write notes, document things, draw, whatever. It's a little pouch with, uh, what do we have here? Oh, just some metal rings, more foil. Gorilla tape, shock cord. Uh, what is this? Ziploc bag and rubber gloves. Like I said, random items, some redundancy of what we've seen earlier, but it's part of this mini survival kit. Um, pretty much every item in here, for the most part. Um, actually, I shouldn't say every item in there, but. A lot of them I have redundancies for, so if I had to give this to someone else and gave them that other mini backpack and said, here, you have your own kit, we have to split up, they're going to have a lot of capabilities and I'll be left with a lot of capabilities still. So that just makes it very convenient to have this all in one pack. This is a, like a hard drive mirror or a hard drive disc. But I use it as a signal mirror, and it's even got the hole in the middle, so if you're signaling, you can see what your target is. Toilet paper, sheet of copy paper, uh, dehydrated towel, uh, alcohol pads, 
some more paper. It's all in a Ziploc bag. Cutting tool, box cutter, lighter, chapstick, some wire to be used for snares or just cordage, blue sharpie, more bank line, little metal clips on uh, ranger bands, and then this is a pill container which has, uh, I think, just a bunch of ibuprofen in it. And that is it on that survival pack. It's just two compartments, really. Nice heavy-duty canvas Cordura uh, bag. All right, guys, we made it through it. That is the bug out bag, ultimate bug out bag. And half of the stuff is still in the pockets. But if you look at all the stuff on the ground, it's a lot of stuff along with that bag. So, I, again, I wanted to make this kit very purposeful, uh, utilitarian. I did want redundancies, um, but I wanted practical items. I, I want a little bit of food. I want a, a change of clothes. I want something to sleep in. I want hygiene items. It's not just, you know, five tactical flashlights, a half dozen knives, and a million ways to start fire. That's not a complete bug out bag, I'm sorry. It doesn't have to be super tactical. It can be functional, it's a combination of bushcraft, camping, survival, um, you know, and just practical EDC items. That's what an ultimate bug out bag should be. So, that's it on this one guys. I hope you're able to watch all the videos. Hope it was entertaining and informative. I do appreciate all of the views and comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And thanks for watching.